Oh, this is a good one. I mean, they're all good, but this one is especially good. Um, all right, number nine. Um, find the bad data in the stop duration column and fix it. Okay? Um, so, I am not defining for you what is bad data, but I'm telling you there is bad data in the stop duration column. So I want you to find it, and then I want you to fix it. And I'm not going to tell you how to fix it, but things I've said previously today should give you a hint as to how I want you to fix it. Okay? So this one's a little more complicated, um, and uh, I will give you a little bit more time than usual on it. Um, but if you get done early, feel free to help your neighbor. And if you're stuck on a particular step, let me know so I can, because it's kind of a potentially a multi-step process. All right. Um, it seems like, well, there are probably a lot of people either still working on it or just kind of like, pff, I don't know. Um, but we'll go ahead through this one, and then that way hopefully we can get in one more um, before we close out for the day. So the big, first big question of the day is what counts as bad data? And I saw a lot of people do the same thing that I was thinking you would do, which is just, well, let's look at what's the data that's in there. And I did see some folks uh, set this to false. And um, so the first question is, do I think the missing data is bad data? And I did not, but you could probably argue that it is or that I meant you, uh, that I meant for you to fix that data somehow. It's not what I intended, but it was ambiguous so that you would have to think through these things. What I was trying to focus you on was this one and this two and have you think, is that one minute? Is that one hour? Is that a typo? Why are those there? I tend to think that because there's only one each of them, that it's probably bad data. And by bad data, I mean erroneous data. So like mistype or who knows exactly how it got there. Okay. So the question becomes then, how do I fix it? Sorry, uh, what does it mean to fix it? And what does it mean, uh, and how do I do that process? Um, so in the first question of like, what should we do, who's, I mean, I've talked with a lot of you about this, but what's, what's one way to fix this? Yeah, over there. Okay, you could assume that it means hours um, and change two to 120 minutes and one to 60 minutes, or you could put them both in the 30 plus minutes because that's more. Um, what would be another way of handling it in the back? You could use the stop time. The stop time is actually the time of day. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. Right. The stop time column is the time of day at which the stop occurred. It is not the length of the stop. Yep. You could remove or, I mean, so um, one suggestion someone had or one idea someone was executing was remove those rows. Another option is to replace those data with something else and the thing we were driving towards is maybe we should set it as missing. So that's kind of a common strategy if you think data is bad you set it as missing. Um, whether or not that's the right choice, to, I mean you make lots of choices when working with data and the most important thing is to document what you're doing and make it reproducible so that when someone bases an analysis on your data they know what assumptions you made and you would say or you would put in code I fixed the data as follows because I assumed these were typos so that if later they figure out they're not typos they can change your code and and change it. So if we go the route of fixing this by setting those two values, one and two, to not a number, N-A-N, missing, the question then is how to do it. 
Now, there are, I saw one person who had, uh, and I'm sure there were more, that used the replace method, which I thought was quite nice, and um, I actually was not even familiar with that method. So I have a different method that I'm going to use because it supports what I want to teach, and it's useful regardless. There, are, As we've talked about, there are always multiple ways to do things in pandas. But this, I think, will be a fun little exercise, and it's called debug my code, all right? So, um, all right, let's see. I want to make, all right, stop. <laughs> um, one, all right, all right. Up. And I know there are things wrong, but I'm going to ask you about it in a second. Equals N A. N. All right, so if you recognize this code, you're like, okay, what is he doing? He's filtering the data frame for stop duration values of one or two. He's taking that filtered data frame and selecting the stop duration column, and then he's replacing it with NAN. All right, there are four things that are wrong with this code. Uh, who, ca who has got, who's, who, who can tell me one of them? Okay, NAN is not a string. Now, I will actually fix that last, so let me come back to that. Um, but thank you, that's one of them. Next. Uh, there's no in place because we're not actually running a pandas function here. We're just doing this. I mean, maybe assignment is technically a function. I don't know. But it's an assignment statement, so I guess it's not a function. There's no function to cause in place. The circ the parentheses, yep. So when you have when you're filtering a data frame by multiple conditions, you use parentheses around each condition. It's just required. Okay, so that is another thing that's wrong. So let me fix that. What is the next thing that is wrong? A one and two are strings, not ints. And uh, ri, if you look at ri dot stop duration dot d type, it is an object which is often but not always a string. But the one thing you can be sure of is there are no ints in there, so it is actually a string. So we can do that. All right. There is one more thing wrong with the code that is hard to kind of see, so I'm going to actually run this code, and then we'll talk about the next thing that's wrong. Uh, I think I've got it how I want it. Okay. All right. Uh-oh. Setting with copy warning. What is the appropriate way to handle a setting with copy warning? Ignore it. Ignore it. <laughs> that is what everyone does. Um, no, you should not, let me show you why you should not ignore a setting with copy warning. The question is, did the operation work? Despite the warning, because it's not an error, it's a warning. Did the operation work? So how many people, by show of hands, think the operation worked? And then I'll ask, did zero? No one thought it worked? Okay. How many people thought it didn't work? Okay, and the rest are unsure. Okay. Ri dot st <laughs> duration dot value counts. Let's see what we got. And nothing has changed. Ooh, it's a warning, and yet it was it didn't tell you well this didn't work, but it didn't actually work. In other words, that assignment statement it, it did happen, but it just got thrown away. Okay. So, what is the tweak? to this code, so that was the, the final thing that was wrong with this code, and we're, we're coming back to the NAN point. But let's pretend NAN was a string, but I, I just want to fix this code. How can I subtly adjust this code such that it will work? Using loc, love loc. All right, so a little subtle adjustment here is to use loc, okay? And the format of loc is which rows do I want, comma, which columns do I want. So in this case, I've already told uh, pandas what rows I want. And so all I do is I say, dot, I say comma, uh, whoops, stop duration, okay? So I take the stop duration from outside the parentheses and move it inside, okay? So ri.loc, which rows do I want? I want the rows that match these conditions. 
uh, these, this or condition. Which columns do I want? I want the stop duration column. And for all of those values, I want to set them to the string NAN. Okay. So we'll run that. No warning this time. And when we run our value counts, what do we get? All right, we've, we've got two NANs. But then you're like, wait a minute. NANs are excluded by default with value counts and other pandas functions. So you say drop NA equals false. And now we've got a very confusing situation where you've got two NANs in the list. And one of these is the real NAN, and the other is the string NAN. And this is why uh, the woman up front said NAN is not a string, and you should not do this. Now, we can still fix it, um, but NAN is not a string, so we've created some confusion, but we can still fix it, okay? So um, the answer to how to fix it is uh, we're going to do another dot loc, um, but what we need, NAN, in case you're wondering, um, is a, like, how do you set something as missing? So you can import NumPy, and then what you're looking for is called np.nan, okay? So in this case, from where we're at, the best solution is to write our loc again, and we're going to say, what rows do I want? I want the ones where stop duration, duration equals the string nan, and then I want to select the stop duration column and then assign to it np.nan. Okay. All right. So you can stare at that for a second if you're like, what is going on in that code? But um, let's take a look at the value counts once again. You will see the, uh, dr the missing value is now missing, but we can uh, say drop na equals false. And there we go. We've got our 5335 NANs instead of 5333. Yeah. So in that second argument that said that, like, uh huh. Right. Can you change more than one column at a time? Like, you want to remember that these were the NANs that weren't in the column. We want to add a second column. Uh huh. Right. Right. Okay. She's asking, could we, within the loc, affect a second column that doesn't yet exist, like a second column called rows I've changed, okay? And it defaults to false, and then you set those values to true or something like that. Can you do that at the same time? Well, you can't do it at the same time in terms of creating a new column, but if you already had a column called, like, let's just try it. I'm actually not sure if this will work. But if I want to change two, uh, I don't think this is going to work, but we'll see. Stop date, let's just say. Um, can you set both of, I don't know. Well, who knows? Oh, well, we've already, we've, We've already changed the filter, so, sorry. Uh, because I ran this line of code already, they're already, uh, sorry, the old, because I've already ran the old version of this line of code, they're already gone, so I can't, without playing with it more, test it to see if it would work. So I'm not sure to the answer. Um, we're actually at just a couple minutes left, so I will answer any more questions about this one, and then I'll wrap up, but yeah. You can. I mean, can you use it and set multiple columns of values to NAN at the same time? And you're saying the answer is yes. Okay, cool. Great. Loke, it's a powerful tool. You should, if you're not familiar with Loke, you should use it because it allows you to do lots of flexible selection by label. Okay. Um, as I was saying, it is 438, and as I recall, this ends at 440, unless I'm... Is that right? 120 to 440. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just wrap up quickly. Um, I'm so sorry that we didn't get to more because I had so much more prepared. Um, I slaved over all these exercises and we only got to some. But I kind of expected that because, um, you know, it takes time to go through these things. So um, I will be posting all the code from today with some amount of comments on GitHub. You can check it out. Um, it's this same repo that you've already got pulled up. 
Um, in terms of kind of some final closing thoughts, and then I'll be staying after um, for any questions. Uh, if you liked my teaching style, feel free to check out Data School on YouTube, just youtube.com slash data school. And I've got lots of tutorials, mostly about pandas and scikit-learn, but um, some other topics as well. And if you really want to follow along with more Data School stuff, um, you can go to my website, which is dataschool.io, and I've got a newsletter, which is where I announce new courses and webcasts and tutorials and stuff like that. Um, very soon, I have coming out a interactive online Pandas course, and if you end up taking it, you'll notice uh, it uses the same data set, um, but it asks some amount of different questions. So if you take it, I hope you enjoy it, and you'll have a leg up on the competition because you'll know some of the answers. Um, so I have that coming out soon. Um, I do have uh, some data school stickers and magnets sitting up front if you're interested. Feel free to gra grab one. Um, I'll be here through Sunday, actually through uh, Monday morning. So um, if you have other pandas questions or uh, questions about data science or any scikit-learn, any of those things, feel free to grab me during the rest of the conference. Um, just a reminder to please do this, this um, at the very top. There's this uh, survey. It's bit.ly slash using pandas survey. So I'd appreciate it if you would take that and let me know your feedback. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. You were really excellent, and I had a lot of fun. So thanks again.